Hey up. It's been a, a little while since I posted a video. Life's got in the way. I've been working on the projects. I cast four silver shot glasses in the process of cleaning those up. There'll be a video on that. I've done some work on the air rifle, but I just haven't done the editing to get it out and that'll happen soon. Um, mainly, I haven't done a lot of work because it's been cold in my garage. Uh, 38 degrees outside and my garage sits at around 40, sometimes dipping lower. And above my garage is kind of an attic space and that's in the high 70s. So I want to pull some of that heat from up there and bring it in my garage so I can do some work. Uh, a lot of countries around the world call it an HRV, heat recovery ventilation. And kind of, I use that idea um, to heat my garage. I didn't want to use a heater, I've done it. I've tried using the kiln, uh, space heaters. It just uses a lot of electricity and doesn't do a lot of heating. But running a fan, pulling heat down from the garage works well, doesn't use any electricity, so I'm good with that. Anyway, this is how I did it, and there's probably a hundred ways to do this, and I'm just trying to give you some ideas on how to low-cost way heat your garage. Uh, the cost of the fan and the materials was just under $300. Kind of expensive, but it'll be there for every year and I won't have a bill from the electricity. Anyway, uh, enough jaw jacking, on with the show. Okay, so I picked up one of these Vivo uh, four inch duct fight with a LCD controller and I got all this pipe stuff. So I'm gonna try and make something So I'm going to try and make a HRV, a heat recovery ventilation system, to pull some of that heat from the attic. Uh, so this is my attempt. Okay, I've got that in there. Now to mount this on here, and I'm going to have the four pipes in there. Okay, so this won't go in there. So I'm going to have to make my own crease on here. So I found joining these together really difficult. It's really hard to get it in. So I grabbed myself a couple of, uh, I call them Jubilee clips. So you just slide it down and it helps. Once you get them together, there's a clip that holds it. Okay, so I've connected up the first round of pipe. I've got to do the next pipe going up to here. It's 45 degrees outside. That's about six, seven degrees Celsius. If I shoot it on that wall, it's 100 degrees. On here, it's 74. So these pipes, 70 degrees. So I'm hoping to get some temperature to heat in my garage because it's too cold to work. Got that done, now for the 90s, and then go down that way. Uh, back in a bit. Okay, got up to here, ran out of four inch pipe. I bought 50 foot and I figured that would be enough, uh, but it wasn't. So I've got to go back, get a couple of pieces and I'm probably gonna make a shopping list for whatever else I've, le I've left behind. I've gotta do the registers and the pipe that connects that. Anyway, uh, back tomorrow. Whew. Okay, got that on. Gotta take this, cut that, and then join the next piece on. Oh, it's hot up here. Okay, I've got the 90 on. This, I've got gap in here, so it's gonna suck air through here, and that'll give me some fresh air supply 
Plus this, this air in here is really hot. Okay, so I bought this for $60 online. Comes with a digital controller and a sensor with, I don't know, probably 10 foot of holes. Uh, so I'm going to mount this down here. But first I've got to mount this on the piece of wood and then connect up that hose. Okay, so this piece won't fit on here. So if I use this tool, Okay, so I've got the uh, motor and pipes hooked up and we'll go see how they look underneath. Okay, so that's my exit. I've got to make it better there. Uh, right there has got the hole for the sense and the control wire. The other end of my garage is the return. 40, it is 40 degrees in my garage right now. These weren't that long. So I ended up mounting it up here. So this is like your mode uh, down, up, and to turn the screen on and off. So I, right now I've got it on off. I can push this and I've got a timer. Um, so high temperature. Right now it's set for 76. So I'm going to turn this to 50 degrees, so I'm going to see if I can warm my garage up to 50. So the fan's coming on slowly, and I can hear it. And... Okay, so I came home from work, and that's showing 50 degrees. The thing up on the roof is showing 67. Anyway, I feel that this is a success and it works quite well because it's lifted the temperature. Normally it would be 40 degrees in my garage and now it's 50. I can work in that. It's still a little bit cold but it's still doable. 40 is just too cold. So anyway, um, I'm pleased with the results. Hope this helps you out if you're thinking of doing something similar. And uh, thank you for watching.